Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas. I cannot believe it's already Christmas. I know they say that with every holiday, but these holidays have been going by way too fast. Let me know down in the comments what you got for Christmas because I would love to know and I love talking to you guys. For today's mukbang, I asked you guys on my Instagram what you guys want to see me eat for Christmas and a lot of you guys said you wanted to see cookies. So I got a bunch of cookies here. I have some homemade vegan sugar cookies. Sugar cookies were always my favorite as a kid. I just can't wait to see how these vegan ones are. I have some homemade vegan gingerbread along here. They're so cute. They're like little gingerbread men. Those I'm really excited for because I've never made even regular gingerbread before in my entire life. So I'm excited to see how those are. The gingerbread recipe is actually from the Edgy Veg here on YouTube. I will link the recipes down below. Then these are ginger snaps and these are actually my recipe i've been recipe testing so i'm excited to see how those are then these are mint oreos covered in chocolate vegan chocolate and sprinkled with some vegan candy canes so excited for that and then over here a couple mukbangs ago, I got amazing cinnamon rolls from Cineholic. Cineholic is a 100% vegan cinnamon roll franchise. I'll pop their Instagram on the screen. This isn't sponsored. They are just so amazing. So I went there a couple mukbangs ago with my parents and we fell in love. So I had to get them for Christmas especially because they have some holiday specials. Here we have, this one actually isn't their holiday special. It is just one of their signature rolls. This one is caramel apple pie. Pie. It has caramel frosting, fresh apples, pecans, pie crumble, and caramel sauce. And then these two are their holiday specials. So this one is the gingerbread house roll, which is gingerbread frosting topped with homemade cinnadoodle cookie bites, graham cookies, and sprinkles. And then this one is the Santa's milk and cookies roll, which is marshmallow frosting topped with Oreo cookies, homemade chocolate chip cookie bites, and powdered sugar. I cannot wait to eat those. Also, a ton of you guys were requesting that I do hot cocoa. So, because I was so busy making these, I didn't want to make anything else, so I went to Starbucks to get their hot cocoa, and it's all vegan. I did a lot to this. I put like syrup and stuff because all their syrup, I think all their syrups are vegan. At least the ones I used I know are vegan. So I will put what I got in the description below because this there's just too much but I'm gonna try it that is so so good I got peppermint syrup in here oh my gosh guys I'm writing this down in the description box below you have to try this that is insane I'm just gonna put that here not sponsored once again. All right, I'm going to try one of these cookies. I don't know what to try first. You know what? I'm going to try one of my homemade ginger snaps. All right, I'm super excited. Mmm. That is so good. I should dip it in hot cocoa. You guys are probably gonna ask for that anyway, so we're gonna say in the comments. You didn't dip it in your hot cocoa. That would have been so cute. So I gotta do it. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I think it's still better without, but I'm still. It's still really good. Also, I forgot to mention for this video, I am going to talk about Christmas traditions because I think that that's a really fun thing to talk about, so. But first, I'm gonna try one of these gingerbread men dudes. Here's the first little guy. Just some regular homemade frost, vegan frosting on top. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're a tasty man. Mmm. -hmm. 
I want to eat another one, but I need to save room for everything else. Now I'm going to try one of these sugar cookies, which I am so excited for. It's a little Christmas tree. Also, the frosting on here is naturally colored with spirulina and beet powder, so... Not saying I'm trying to be healthy, because... But, just thought I would add that in there. Merry Christmas. And then last, I'm going to try the chocolate covered Oreo. I think I said it was a mint Oreo on the inside. That's really good. Last Christmas I didn't have. Mm. Also, before I started, my dad left this little note on, on my table and he said, Hope you have a great, tasty, and fun mukbang. Love, Dad. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. He's so cute. So, the first thing isn't really a Christmas tradition. It's more of just something that I do, but I will wear different fuzzy socks for certain days and I will save one certain pair for Christmas day to wear. Let me know if any of you guys do that because I save a certain pair for Christmas and I don't wear that pair until Christmas, so. Okay, the moment that I've been waiting for. I don't know how to do this. I wanna try the apple one first. Should I just pick it up? Here's this one. And the bottom. Look at that. I'm just gonna go for it. Mmm. Shoot. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna try their gingerbread house one. Okay, that's just crazy. These are their cookies, I think. Well, whatever they are, they're super good. Mm -mm -mm. I'd be happy if I died right now. Lastly, I'm going to try their Santa's Milk and Cookies. This one is, I think, the biggest one. This thing is very intimidating. You don't scare me. Mmm. That's the bottom of that one. Mm. I can't decide which one's my favorite. It's definitely between these two. Mmm. Their cookie on here. Oh my gosh. They fill it with chocolate chips. It's so good.
I don't even know why I decided to make cookies. I just need this. Okay, so the next Christmas tradition, my family and I will listen to Christmas music while putting up the Christmas tree. And that one is probably one of my favorites because the Christmas season is just not the same if you don't put up the Christmas tree listening to Christmas music. So that one's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, this is so messy. I don't care. I'm gonna have another one of my gingerbread dudes. Oh! This cute little guy. Mmm. So, on Christmas Adam, which is the night before Christmas Eve, my sister and I started doing this new thing where we will sleep under the Christmas tree on Christmas Adam. And it is seriously one of my favorite traditions. It is seriously one of my favorite traditions because just laying there and looking up at the lights and the Christmas tree, it brings so much happiness and like, I'm so glad we started doing that. I think this one's my favorite. I'm sorry, I'm such a mess right now. Here we go, I got it off my nose. I didn't even realize it was on my nose, so <laughs> that's fun. Oh my gosh, that hot cocoa, that's a 10 out of 10. You guys have to try that, it's so good. I'm gonna go back in for the milk and cookies. I swear I'm Santa. When it comes to food, I'm Santa. Mm. At Cineholic, you can get scoops of cookie dough too, and cookies and brownies and stuff, so their cookies are like a signature thing, and I can see why they're so good. Oh my gosh. This is the center. Ooh. This is probably going to be the best bite. Dang, they put so much frosting in here. And it's so soft, but it's not doughy. This is insane. Mmm. That's all like super soft. And that's this feels like the inside. And this is almost the outer layer. It's so good. So another Christmas tradition is making gingerbread houses. We will always make gingerbread houses with a family that we know or we will just make gingerbread houses like we have to. And my dad, he'll make a graham cracker train. So he'll take graham crackers and make a freaking amazing train out of it. It is so cool. I don't know how he does it, but that's one of the staple things. And this year, now that I have this gingerbread recipe, I'm going to have to make a gingerbread house with my family and actually eat it with them. Get a bunch of, you know, vegan treats and stuff. Okay, I'm going to have another sugar cookie. I'm going to have the snowflake because I kind of want to get less frosting and more cookie and see how it actually tastes. Mm. That's a really good sugar cookie. It doesn't even need a lot of frosting.
kind of wishing I had some savory stuff right now. Speaking of sugar cookies, that is another tradition. We will always make sugar cookies around Christmas time and we will give them to friends and neighbors. Sometimes we'll even make them with friends and it's really, really fun. Mm. Those apples are saving me. I'm already getting sugared out, which is making me kind of upset because I wanted to eat more. Another thing that we do is Christmas Day when we go down to open Christmas presents. Not everyone will just go and open their own present. We will have, we rotate each year and we'll have one kid go to the Christmas tree and play Santa. This person who is selected in the family will pick presents in order of youngest to oldest and hand the presents out. So the youngest will get their present, open it. The youngest will get the present, open it, and then we'll go in order from there. That's a really fun one, and we do that one every year. Mm. I want the center again. Yes. I'm spilling all over my floor. So for Christmas lunch on Christmas day, my dad will make little Smokies, little hot dogs. And it's a tradition that we've been doing and we always have done it. And so, and it's so cute. I love my dad so much. He's so cute. He says, this year I'm gonna get some vegan ones and we're gonna make it all vegan so you can keep tradition. And I was like, you don't have to do that for me. You're so sweet, what the heck? I don't deserve you. Mm. I think it's really interesting when I'm sugared out there are certain things that still taste fine to me like this still tastes fine but the cinnamon rolls like I don't think I'm gonna have anymore maybe I'll have the center of that one <laughs> but Okay, so I'm just gonna have a little bit more and then I'm gonna be done because I only have two traditions left. So I'm going to have, I'm gonna have another gingerbread man. These guys, they're not overly sweet and they're a perfect size. I love these guys. Mm. So on Christmas Eve, my family and I will watch It's a Wonderful Life as a family. We do it every single year. It's a tradition and we never miss it. So that one is probably one of our biggest traditions, which is really funny because there are other things that seem much more important, yet that one is the one we always follow through with. So it's really important. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So the last tradition and the last thing we do is on Christmas day we will watch Charlie Brown Christmas as a family together because that is one of the OG Christmas movies so we have to watch that and it's really really fun because it's just it brings the family together and we all get to laugh and uh, it's such I just love watching movies together because we have a lot of inside jokes as a family with certain movies too so I'm going to get the center of this cinnamon roll because I'm just that way, okay? And that will be my last bite of this video. Ooh. Yeah, I think if I didn't go head on into the cinnamon rolls like I did in the beginning, I would have been able to eat more, but I apologize, I didn't eat more. If you guys want more to be eaten, then you guys should just come share with me. That'd be fun. All right, last and final bite. Mm. 
All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I'm sorry it was more of a shorter one, but I want you guys to go enjoy your time with your family and friends and just have a very Merry Christmas. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know your Christmas traditions down below. I'd love to hear some of your guys' Christmas traditions. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!